Today's video is on direct and inverse variation. So, first thing you need to know are what they mean. If y varies directly with x, we're going to use the equation y equals kx. So whenever it says directly, you need to multiply y equals k times x. All right? And the second one we're going to be learning about, inverse variation. If y varies inversely with x, we're going to use y equals k over x, or k divided by x. So when it says inversely, we're going to divide k divided by x. All right. Um, now would be a good time to pause the video and write that down along with the first two problems. OK. So say we have a varies directly with b. So we're going to set up the equation first. a varies directly with b. So a equals a varies directly with b. So k is always going to be our constant in these cases, k times b. And it says find k if a equals 4 and b equals 2. All right, so we just plug in what they give us, a equals 4 and b equals 2. So a is 4 equals k times b is 2. And since k is multiplying with 2, that means we have to divide to get rid of it. So divide by 2 on both sides. So we end up getting k equals 4 divided by 2 is 2. That would be our answer. For the second one, it says m varies directly with n. All right, so if m equals 9 and n equals 4, find k. All right, so same thing. Directly means multiply. All right, so we're going to have m equals k times n. And then we can plug in our numbers. So this is going to become with m equals 9 and n equals 4. Another way of writing this would be 9 equals k times 4 is 4k. So you can flip that around if you want. So we divide by 4 on both sides. Those will cancel. And we just get k equals 9 over 4. And it's okay to leave it like that. 9 divided by 4 is fine. Okay? Alright, the next problem, we're going to do an inverse variation problem. So, say, if C varies inversely with D. Find K when C equals 4 and D equals 12. All right, so the first thing we have to do is set up our equation. Now, we know we're using this equation, or at least similar to that equation, because it's inverse variation. So we have C varies, so C equals, C equals. Inversely means we're going to have K over D. All right, so inversely with D means we divide. And then we can plug in the numbers since we have our equation. So we have C equals 4, D equals 12. So this is going to become... 4 equals k over 12. Now this time, since we're dividing k by 12 and we're finding k, what we want to do is multiply, because multiplying is the opposite of dividing on both sides, so multiply by 12, multiply by 12. Those will cancel, and we get k equals 4 times 12 is 48. Now we can't have both happening at the same time. So say C varies inversely with A.
and directly with B. Find K if A equals 6, B equals 3, A equals 6, B equals 3, and C equals 1. Alright? So that's a 6. So we first set up the equation. C varies. So that's going to be the first thing. C varies. So C equals... Now K is going to be in all these equations because our K is our constant. So uh, C varies inversely with A. So we're going to have K over A and directly with B. So K is going to be multiplying with B because it says directly with B. So K times B over A. And then we just plug in our numbers, 6, 3, and 1. So we know C is 1. All right, so this equation becomes 1 equals K times B is 3, so times 3 over 6, which is A. You can reduce these first, but it's okay. I'm not going to. Um, I'm just going to, since we're dividing by 6, I'm going to multiply by 6 on both sides first. So if we multiply by 6 here, those are going to cancel. And we have 6 times 1. It becomes 6 equals... We didn't do anything with the 3 yet, but the 6 is canceled. So we have k times 3. All right, k times 3. And then we can divide by 3. So we divide by 3 on both sides. So k equals 6 divided by 3. Those will cancel, too. One more. Alright. So, number five, let's say S varies inversely with T. If A equals 3, uh, I'm sorry, S equals 3, and T equals 4, find S when T equals 6. All right, so we're not finding k this time. We're actually going to find a different variable, but we do have to find k first. All right, so we're first going to set up our equation. S varies inversely with t. So S equals k over t. First thing we have to do is find k with this information that they gave us here. S equals 3 and t equals 4. So this equation becomes 3 equals k over 4. Since we're solving for k, we've got to move the 4 by multiplying by 4 on both sides. So we're going to multiply by 4. So k, those are going to cancel, and k is going to equal 12. But it didn't ask for k. It asked for s when t is 6. So we have to do a little bit more work here. So say we have same equation, s equals k over t. s equals k over t. And we're just finding s when t is 6. And we already know what k is. k is 12. We're using that same thing. So now we have two variables that we know and one that we don't. All right, so s equals k is 12 over t is 6, so s equals 2. And that's what it was asking for.
next video is going to be MCR basics of algebra.